now to another governor or a former governor. Uh, that's Governor John Sununu of New Hampshire, also a former White House chief of staff. And Governor Sununu, am I reading right here that you're in Charlotte? I am in Charlotte. Uh, I came down here to bring some truth to the kind of uh, the kind of misinformation you just went through. You're you're a troublemaker. Uh, you're a, a Republican invading the the Democratic turf. Well, you know they uh, they came down to Tampa, spent a little time with us. I thought I'd return the hospitality. <laughs> so so what are you doing? They don't let you in the convention hall, do they? Uh, I've been there a couple of times, uh, did some stuff uh, with some of the media up in the convention hall. What, what, do you have to sneak in? Do they put a mask on you? How do you get in there? You're a pretty recognizable I fellow. I just wore a small nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, so what, what do you think of what you've heard so far? Well, look, uh, let's just go over what you just heard in the last five minutes. That's the same governor that admitted that we weren't better off, and then he got Cory Bookered and had to uh, come back and uh, cross his fingers and lie a little bit and say, oh, yeah, we're better off. And, of course, you have the, the requisite uh, we're blaming Bush again riff in there. And then, of course, uh, the silly claim that, that, that the President Obama did something to help the recovery. They're talking about job creation. They're not even creating enough jobs every month to keep up with population growth. Okay. They're falling further and further behind. All right, but Governor, I want to take you off of your uh, political high, high horse here for a minute and take you back to your days as White House Chief of Staff. Uh, um, uh, because you know how hard it was in Washington uh, to get things done and that any meaningful accomplishment had to have some degree of bipartisan support. You did that during the, the uh, uh, administration of George H.W. Bush. We've seen precious little of that since then, either during George W. Bush's time or during Barack Obama's time. Uh, uh, do you see anything going on at either of these conventions that leads you to believe that we're going to be able to make government work better after the November election? First of all, with George W. Bush, there was a lot of cooperation the first six years there following 9-11, uh, the country did come together in Congress uh, on a bipartisan basis, did support the president. But let me tell you the problem you've had the last two years. I did work for a president that wanted bipartisan support, and the leadership has to come from the White House. You cannot get white bipartisan support if there is not a directive from the White House to both the leaders of the White House's party in Congress and, and the folks in the White House to go get it done. George Herbert Walker Bush told me, go get a bipartisan uh, budget agreement, and he drove it. The problem with the president we have now with President Obama, he has never been a chief executive of anything until he got elected. Never was a governor, never had to make hard decisions. This is a president who can't even get his own party to support his own budget. But, but Governor, Governor, down. yeah, Wait let's a minute, just... Alan, let me finish. He sent a budget down. It was knocked down 414 to nothing. He can't even get his own party to participate. You've got to be able to lead from the White House to get cooperation. If he can't get his own party to do anything, the Republicans aren't going to yeah. do it. So, Governor, uh, uh, your president, George H.W. Bush, was able to get a bipartisan budget agreement in part by giving. He conceded. He allowed taxes to go up, even though he had said, read my lips, no new taxes during his campaign. The question is, uh, are, are we in a situation where a Mitt Romney uh, is going to be willing to, to or should be willing to do the same thing uh, if he gets elected? Alan, he was governor of Massachusetts, inherited a huge deficit, 85 percent Democrats in the legislature. He was able to get a bipartisan package through the legislature that cut spending without taxes. Why is the, why is the formula that everybody wants to run to is that you have to have taxes? The Democrats keep talking about, well, would you take a 10 to 1 formula? Well, you know how silly that formula is? That yeah. says that the added revenue of taxes is 10 percent, which means if you cut spending a little bit more, you wouldn't need the taxes. Well, Governor, what's killing what's killing America is nobody wants to invest because they're scared this president will yeah. tax them out of existence.